My family moved to our small valley in 1975. I was just four years old. We were in the run from bill collectors, but from what I remember, we were pretty normal. Back then, it was just my mom, dad, and me. Weeks after moving into our home, strange stuff started happening. Mom became mad, dad became paranoid, and I started hearing voices. You might say we're going a little crazy. Mom thought she'd found the answer in a small book she found hidden beneath the floor in our farmhouse. But that book took things from bad to worse. My dad died one year after moving here, low on money and with help of the book and advice from her new friend, Big Boss Man. Mom started stealing from travelers. It wasn't long that fear set in about being caught. So they decided to kill anyone they stole from so there'd be no witnesses. That's how we got our start in the family business. I don't expect you to feel pity for me. I am what I am. When most children are being raised to be doctors or firemen, I was being raised to be a killer. Like the rest of the family, I feel no remorse. I have a one-track mind, and that's taking what you have at any cost. I decided to tell our story, past and present, so that others won't follow the same path. In the end, you wish you hadn't. J.R. Drizzit Well, maybe you can help me out. I'm uh, a little mixed up. I'm looking for Mojave and I, I just don't know which way to go. Well, you sure there isn't something else you want to ask me about? Uh, you know, I just, I gotta get to Mojave. If you can just give me those directions, that'd be great. That's a shame. But, you change your mind. Fine. Jody took her offer. Three minutes later, I emerged from the motel with a stupid grin on his face. Uh, thanks for those directions. Do I, um, owe you anything? Nah, hon. Big Boss said that one's on the house. Okay. Well, maybe I'll see you around sometime. See ya, hon. Nice. Finally, someone knows the uh, local terrain. Dude, off my car, bro. Off Sorry. my car. Hey, look. I was wondering, could I go and ride from you? You know what? I don't have time for you if you don't have a dime. I I'll pay you, man. How much you got? Uh, I don't know. I got five bucks. Dollar a mile, bro. How about 
two miles. Uh, how about you kick rocks? All right, all right, all right. A dollar a mile. I always thought California was supposed to be pretty. <laughs> you like it out here? Yeah, I don't live out here, bro. Oh, really? No. no. Where do you live? <sighs> this, this place called Castaic, man. I live in Castaic. Oh, wow. Check this out. Nice parade. Right. Right. Uh, okay, hey, you know what? I'm going to tell you this once. When you're in here, you don't touch my stuff, okay? Just okay. sit back, enjoy the ride. Don't, just don't touch my stuff. All right? Okay. So. Crap. I don't know. I think I got a flat or something. Crap. Just another thing I need today. Oh, great. You live in your car or what? Holy crap. All right, bro. You matter. know what? I'm done with you. I don't need you to. I, I don't need you rifling through my stuff. I don't need you talking about all this. I'm just done. It's time for you to get going. Look, man. I'm. I'm sorry. It's just that I really need. You this know what? Ride. I don't need. No, man. I don't need it from you. Look. How about this? If I change your tire, will you give me a ride still? You know what? You change the tire. I'll take you where we're going, and that's it. We're done. All right. Change good. my tire. Deal. Thank you. Good man? All right. Sorry about that. Let's get going, okay? You good? Oh, oh no way. Well, hey, the bro, <laughs> dude, I told you before, don't touch my stuff. Put oh, man, I've it always wanted put it like back. That. Put it back. Sorry. Right. Jesus. It's like you have ADD or something. You can't you don't listen, man. You don't listen. Um uh can I ask you? How much did that set you back? Oh my god. Dude, it's not even mine, bro. I found it on the side of the road. Let's just drop it, dude. Seriously. Drop it. <laughs>